Hello and welcome to your ASEC program. We hope that you will gain a lot from the program and will enjoy your experience. We want to share some information with you today that will help you understand some of the forms and surveys you will be asked to complete. Here we go. So first things first, why do we ask you to fill out so many forms? The simple answer is we want to evaluate the program. But what does evaluation mean? It means that we collect information, sometimes called data, from you and other people to learn more about how the program is functioning. In the U.S. office, we're far away from what's happening on the ground in Africa. When you complete a form or survey or share information with us, we learn much more about how the program is really operating and what your experience in the program is like. At ASEC, the evaluation has three main purposes. First, to find out what the successes and challenges of the program are, so we can keep what's working well and make improvements where they're needed. Here's an example of how we made a big change at ASEC based on what we learned through evaluating the program. We found out through evaluation of the SLDI program that sisters needed more opportunities to access higher education. ASEC addressed this need by developing a new program called the Higher Education for Sisters in Africa, HESA program. Another example of how we made positive changes based on evaluation outcomes was when sisters told us in their alumni surveys that many still struggled to write grants effectively, even after the SLDI program ended. Sisters often write grants to help better serve people in their communities. We then started a consultancy project so sisters could get help from consultants when writing their grant proposals. Secondly, we evaluate to measure our progress towards meeting our objectives and goals, and we report this to our donors every year. And third, we evaluate so we can share the story of the program with ASEC stakeholders and the public. We want to show how sisters use their education to benefit society. Whether in education, healthcare, social services, or any other area of service, sisters are putting their skills to use to benefit others and we want to share the important work of the sisters with the world. In the ASEC programs, we ask you to complete surveys and forms and tell us about you and your experience in the program. But we ask for your permission to use your answers on surveys and forms for our evaluation reports and other purposes. We also ask if we can use pictures or videos of you. This means ASEC has two permission forms for you to read and decide if you want to give us permission. The first permission form is the Participant Permission Form. If you give ASEC permission, we can use the information you give us to see how the program runs, determine where we need to improve, and create reports for our funder. Your answers could also possibly be used for research studies. The second permission form is the Media Permission Form. If you give ASEC permission, we can use photos or videos of you in our reports, presentations, website, or printed materials. Feel free to say yes, I give permission or no, I do not give permission to either form. If you say no to sharing your data, you should not complete the evaluation forms, with the exception of the general registration form. If you say no to use a photo or video of you, please excuse yourself from any photos or videos taken by ASEC staff. If you say yes, we appreciate that you are generously giving your time and effort to share your feedback. We are grateful that you are sharing your experience and photos of your wonderful self with us. Please make sure you read the directions on each survey form carefully and ask questions of the ASEC staff if you do not understand the directions or a question. It is better to understand the question than to take a guess at what it means. The staff are happy to help you. Please make sure you write your name the same exact way on each form you complete. This will help us keep track of the forms you complete. We don't want to confuse you with another sister. When you are asked for your national ID number, please provide the number exactly as it appears on your card. If you do not have a national ID number, please use your passport or voter ID. Be sure to use the exact same number on every form. Please try to complete your survey before submitting it to SurveyMonkey. We know that submitting a completed survey can get difficult if you lose internet connection. 
But if you submit one partially completed survey, then do another one, we may need to discard your survey responses altogether. Please try to answer all the questions on a survey. If you cannot answer a question, you can respond with NA, which means not applicable, or you can write unsure if you don't know the answer. If you have any questions, please contact your ASEC country director, coordinator, or ASEC evaluation staff. There's also information available for students on the website. Visit asec-sldi.org slash students for more information. Don't forget to follow ASEC on social media too.